Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between JDG and T1 during the semifinals of Worlds 2023. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. We'll obviously find it out soon as soon as Kanavi figures it out, but the timing window might just be there. It's perfect for the setup. Now they know! Total control of the lane, but just now sees Owner. Owner mounting up. On the way in, looking to lock him up and take him out. 369 still standing for now. Will he burn the flasher or just accept his fate? Trying instead to turn and burn on Zayas, get a little bit more health damage. Just accepts his fate. First blood for the side of T1. Knight and Kanavi not able to find the counter punch in mid lane. Level ones are Cinder Red. Easy level three top side counter gank. Or just pure gank there for owner. Meanwhile, Kanavi getting chased off his attempted counter jungle. Oh, Faker trying to make sure that Kanavi does not just get that camp for free. Now Owner's on his way, and Karia, he's trying to collapse. Karia coming through, magical journey through the wall, will just completely zone him off the camp. Defense complete, and now Kanavi is going to know he's got nothing to go back to in his own jungle, even gets stunned up here in mid lane by Karia. Game team fights, and actually have a quicker average game time because of it. Oh, and I would really, really like this from JDG, because you know T1 is going to try and aggressively stack dragons, but they won't have the opportunity. We do see Knight already here. Doesn't look like T1 is going to be able to contest this. Hey, he's going for the solo bolo, and he just gets the kill! What? That he's is, that is... Favored, but Zayas setting the expectation on its head, and 369 just too far behind, stepping far nice. too far forward. Yeah. Q1 uh, confirms the pullback on Infernal Chains, makes it easy. Yeah, just dash forward, hits the chain. He had the level six advantage. Gets the solo bolo. And contest here. No flash for Karia. Has to be a bit careful about how far forward he steps. Kanavi ready with the ultimate. Zayo's strong. Getting low. But opted for lethality. He's still relatively squishy, all things considered. Zayo's still stepping forward with the infernal chain. Looking for the lockup. Tempered fate now coming in. Isolating Knight. Knight right in the back line. And owner immediately with the follow up engage. Zayo's still standing. Now finally the bias going in, but it might just be too little too late. Knight. Oh, fancy oh, feet to the back of the fight. Oh, Zayo's ticking, burning with the shutdown. It's three, six, nine. But now they're just fish. Caught in the barrel, waiting on the slaughter of the curtain call. T1 stepping in and dominating the Herald fight. They force all of their flashes over the back of the pit and then still chase down two of the kills. That is... Zeus, no boots yet. No oh magic gosh. mantle. Working steadily towards what we assume will be a dusk blade here as he backs away. Maybe suspects the play from Kanavi. Charge forward, lock up, ult he used in the previous fight. 369 still burning him down. Zayo's running for the hills, the rumble, Boom. and the buy. Get it done on the... Graciously, being willing to lose something here or there, so when they hit two items, they can find the perfect angle for a fight. Something they are so incredibly good at doing. That said, T1 taking control for so much of this early game, almost 2k JP. in their favor. They're not willing Dragon. to give up this drink for free. Owner into the pit, and he will steal it! Right out of Kanavi's hands. Curtain call over the wall. There is nowhere for that buy to go. Guma now on a killing spree. Missing running for his life. Locked up into the wall. Equalizer used just to keep the support alive. Just come in. Yoink. Thank you so much for the dragon. Owner steals it away. And they also get Owner. the... Owner. Never mind. Owner. He gets a freebie back. Staying a bit too long. Stun now coming through. 369. Careful not to overheat too quickly. Continuing to walk forward. Making sure now he has the flames. Better to try to bring it back. Shockwave there. Carry not quite able to connect. Maybe they have the damage. Faker's going to be in trouble. Missing now. Pushing him back, trying to sacrifice. Oh. 369 burns down to the ignite of Caria. Missing, killed as well in every play. That looks like it favors JDG. Just turns in the favor of. Pretty damn good about Kobe. And it's about when you pick it. You know, like we said in Champ Select, there's no pure big tank on the enemy team. Temper fate there. A bunch of armor. Should be an easy fall up now. Caria taking his time, waiting for the wall to try to line it up. He doesn't even need to. Zayas's damage is disgusting. And crucial there, look at the timing on 369 Flash. Just a couple of seconds later and he would have been able to fly. High brush. Harold already utilized. Gonna create some pressure, gonna break open mid lane at the very least. T1 already pulling ahead in the play. If they can get the Drake as well, it's everything. Owner waiting in the darkness. JDG, this is such a tough angle to fight from. Continuing to stay around, continuing to stick around, willing to give up so many resources. The crash in mid lane already happened from the Herald. The tower slowly but surely crashing. Rather breaking down now as Dragon still aggroed here. Carrier playing on the edge. Ruler going through the portal. Feathers fly, but to little effect as JDG just have to run the pullback over the wall. Now they're just trying to isolate and take out Zeus. Big gold flux. 
Fox for the side of JDG. Can they take the fall and fight? Already the equalizer burned. Carrier running through the magical journey. Everybody trying to get up, but Owner will be denied. Owner cannot find the escape, but it doesn't matter because T1 are there in time. Missing trying to fire back. Gumi Yushi out of ammo, desperately trying to reload, but here comes the Kunai. Here comes Knight, the flash away to safety. Three shots left in the barrel. Manages to lock him down, playing on the edge. As he steps, Baker's into coming. Bar. Baker on the flank. No shockwave. A lot of help. Has to play careful here. Knight, no ultimate. Needs to make his way out of this one. The lock up there from Guma from so far away. Oh, no. Owner coming in. The pullback on the missing. Trying not to stick around for too long. One taken down already. Knight now going in. Trying to turn it back. Guma says not today. Guma puts it right between his eyes as Knight goes for the kill. But Faker did so much work in this. To Guma Yushi. And with JDG so far behind in so many positions, they might just not have enough damage to finish off these priority targets. Carrier going in. Lineup not quite there, but the captive audience now coming through. Missing, trying to back up. Shockwave pulling back just to kill the Alistair, but they get the tier two as well. The range on this composition, baby. Look at those picks for Tent, the last outer tower. The defense is here for JDG, crumbling. Carry a perfect predict on the Shuriken flip means the lockup is there on the night. He goes into the shroud. Kanabi, ready to give his life to protect his mid laner. They're now going into the back line straight on Guma. Locked up with a temper fake, doesn't quite connect to the gin, burns to the ground. JDG trying to hold on to hope, but here is Zeus. Here is the top laner right as they need him to crash down the pull back on the infernal chains. Ruler. Missing goes in, but he cannot find the edge. Ruler still stands, but he doesn't have the angle to attack. He doesn't have the angle into the fight. The shroud will take Knight out to safety in T1. Stand so far ahead with the gin that it might not matter. TP from the Akali, Knight in the area now, T1 maybe just gonna fish for the pick here. Already got one advantage. Tempered fade onto Kanavi is big, the lineup is there. Zayo's immediately gonna look to knock him down. Can they find it? Kanavi now going right back into Zayo's owner in the area. Big damage coming in for the Dark and Blade, missing on the backside, trying to buy some space. But the shockwave is clean, and in comes the curtain call. It is Zayo's wreaking havoc on all of JDG to finish the fight, T1 looking to break over the base of JDG. That's a clean eight. Immediately, T1 have something to say about it. From start to finish, they have been in the driver's seat from the creative pathing in the early game of owner to shut seconds. down. Three, six, nine. T1 have their eyes on the prize, and the prize alone, a spot in the finals, or at least one game closer. T1 showing up massive in this first game, missing, and Kanavi should not be enough. The Nexus. Lower and lower, T1, drawing first blood in this series. Well, master of these double AD bottom lanes. So this is going to be a fist fight down there. And with T1 one game ahead, now on red side, we know what JDG is likely to pick in the next game as well, pushing T1 back there. You have to hope if you're a JDG fan. That you said, <laughs> all roads lead to him, him trying to stand between them and that huge achievement. Karia on the level one is going to lead the way with the Ash. Thing, taking so much damage. We're now Nine. continuing to free fire to Karia. Karia has to be careful. Will he be forced to flash over the wall for now? Standing strong. 369 on the backside has popped the Ghost. One Q stack going, but he can't really find an angle in. Has to be careful. Third stack missing incredibly low. Q through the creeps, trying to pick up some souls. Owner getting lower and lower. 369 for Zeus off to the He's side. But owner <laughs> getting burned down. Owner level two, he flashes in. They get first blood and straight it back. Knight running for his life now. Two kills to the side of T1. And T1. Later on the top side, this game has it all. Now we got a Maokai gank in the bot lane. Ruler has to be careful, just barely gets around the trap. But owner stepping forward, the cleanse isn't going to be enough. Walking in, one more out of the kick. We end up the flash in. Carrier seals the deal. Missing, trying to fire back with Carrier. seen the scene in Arcane, you know exactly how this goes. Flash in, hits him with the Fist of Cups double kill. Going over to Kanavi. Really good timing there for Kanavi. For the Rift Herald, I don't think T1 want to fight anything up on the top side of the map, and they'll be happy actually to trade these objectives. But that does mean JDG will have the extra pushing power and try and snowball here. Big gold injection from this Rift Herald, and already to a very rich Vi. They're going to have to make a very big Vi ultimate plus Shockwave play to make this worthwhile. Also do note, and this is something in the law. See what they can do with it, because Kanavi's gonna help him get another turret plate. Alting, no one there to body block for missing. That could be disastrous. 
Zayas behind, Zayas behind as well. Kanavi gonna be in trouble. Ruler now trying to run for his life, kiting this one out. Zayas keeping his eyes on the Callistas. Kanavi in the backside will find one. Knight with the shockwave at least managing to lock down the trade kill. This is huge for JDG. They did not teleport 369 in. That is a teleport cooldown for JDG. You can take a look at the MasterCard lane economy. It's the mid jungle for JDG versus the bot lane of T1 when it comes to relative leads. But T1 control mid prior, which means they control setup on the Drake. And it looks like JDG are going to respect that. Not looking to contest this one whatsoever. Do not have the vision. Do not have the members in position. It will be a trade of the top lane tier one for the second Drake of the game. Be coming down to look to pressure Faker off. Kanavi is so damn strong. The Maokai not going to be effective because it's just not soon enough. Flash out from Faker is clean though. Knight takes at least one tower shot. The pushback Faker trying to make it out and he will survive. JDG walking. Able to get a lot of damage down towards this turret. And now Herald being started up by T1. This is looking to be their answer. But 369, he is getting more and more gold. He gets top tower. He gets bottom tower. Clearly after last game, JDG putting more effort into getting resources into the back pocket of 369. Staying even in CS, but getting so many plates, getting so much gold overall. Finishing his mythic item as well. T1 uncontested out night. And again, this is the struggle of the JDG lineup is how do you gain control? No vision control, traps blocking one entrance, only one entrance left, meaning owner has perfect setup for an ulti to kick this fight off. Arrow gonna connect first, Kanavi now locked up, brings it back into the rest of the team. Owner in the midst of everybody, and Zayo's now on the way in, Kanavi's still standing for now. That? Ruler pulling back his support, and now JDG looks to turn, unstoppable is 369. They know that they've gotten what they came for. JDG now backing off, do not want to overextend in the play. This is huge! The entire front line from D1 has been deleted! JDG, what a successful turnaround in that fight. It's Kanavi with the in the Back in means first tower or tower in the mid lane in favor of JDG as well as the Infernal Drake. Faker gonna be forced to run. And again, JDG, a massive threat. The later you get in the game, the more clean this team feels. And they're proving it again here on the back of the play from Kanavi. I have to feel using the Scryer's Gloom just to see if there's anything spotting him. Another aggressive engage here. Carry a locked Fight. up, though. Knight finds the Shockwave onto one. The TP now coming in. That's 369 to the backside. Looking to isolate the rest of the team. One kill already going down. Guma off the ribs. Carrier running for his life. Kanavi continuing to step forward. Pullback coming in. JDG have brought T1 into the meat grinder. They are tearing through them effortlessly. But Faker now looking to fire back. Carrier bleeding on the back line. Cannot do much more. JDG have taken the exchange. And Kanavi going down means that JDG, I say, might have tried because owner is dead. Doesn't have smite. And they do have the rend available. Exactly. Rend is going to be more damage. Double TP though. They might just want to force that out and back off. TP coming. Here comes Zayas. Potential for a hero moment from Zayas from Caria. Can they turn this one back? A lot of blinking health bars, a lot of cooldowns missing. Zayas, no flash. Objective getting lower and lower. The Rend should just be able to finish it. They will grab the Baron, but T1 sticking around in the meantime, hoping to take the fight. Missing getting lower and lower, but he just got too much range, too many souls, doing too much damage. Faker goes in, but he gets absolutely Ooh. nothing. DG pushed off. Should be pretty easy to tear through that tower at this stage of the game. So 369 there to pick up the CS, but won't be able to stop the tower take. JDG not afraid to walk up. 99 souls on missing, about to have 100 extra range here. As you can continue to rain down auto attacks, rain down Qs, picking up so many souls. Third Drake for JDG, clearly much more worried about losing control oh, on the Baron it. side. Kanavi going in, immediate start of the fight. Faker now locked up the play! Oh. Does so much damage! Kanavi's early game lead put to good use here. The GA now coming out. T1, can they fight back? Zayus leaping and will get Kanavi in the end. One for one thus far. Zayus going back under the Azir Tower. The rest of T1 now need to barrel into the fight, but it's eyes on Knight. Can he get more damage down? 369 in the midst of everybody! Oh. And he's going all out into the back line! Only the support left standing! Look at that! They're gonna push straight down mid! There is no way that the Nexus isn't gonna fall and JDG come back with a resounding victory here in game number two. Game one about owners early pathing about the team play, but game two has been about Kanavi and the dominance of JDG in fights. But that said, as good as the fight was, as favorable as the fight was, JDG do not. A lot of games really quickly. Faker is up though. They're gonna respect it. Pull back and grab Baron Buff instead. But JDG, such a massive lead after that T1 wipe here with the Baron buff. Baron empowered recalls will allow them to reset too. And you see T1 trying to make a run. Things when they so please in 369.
doesn't take damage. <laughs> I, I basically was gaining health <laughs> during that. But it is going to be the secure of all the neutral objectives. The two inhibitors down. JDG methodical here. To threaten the Nexus. JDG, their chokehold on T1, and they're starting to squeeze T1. Not a lot of options left, but the arrow going wide. Potentially the last glimmer of hope. Now fading in this game, too. Missing, taking a big chunk of damage here. No wave. T1 still able to clear it. Finally bot wave now coming in. It feels like an inevitability, but it's not over till it's over. T1 ready for one potential final fight. Zaya's poking off to the side still. Has a bit more armor pen now. Can't start to hurt 369. Ulti coming out from owner Faker. Looking for an angle here. Just gauge opportunity. Have to be a little bit careful about that one. The good news is... But is behind. They're going for it. T1. Looking for the angle. Missing could be in trouble here. Zayas on the backside looking to lock up. Trying to take down a bit more damage. Infernal Chain's not going to be very effective. Knight going golden. Has a bit more space. Kanavi now on the way in. In goes Kanavi. And that should just be it. T1 holding on for dear life. Faker uncontested on the backside. Gumichi going golden. But he is going to go down. The flash out will not be enough. GA up just in time to keep Kanavi standing. It's a clean ace in the base of T1 as JDG will move on and close out game two. It's a textbook game from Red Side. The whole advantage is counter pick. Yeah. If you told someone that it was Renekton versus Aatrox top, you wouldn't know which one picked blind. True. Okay, so we have Azale who's heavily favoring T1. He doesn't even care about the top. <laughs> I don't Emily, care. Emily, do you agree? Well, uh, I like a lot of the answers. That it's so easy on the bottom side. Gumiyushi has to be very careful. Ah, level two Wukong power dive. I don't know about the sound of that, but they've got a big wave. T1 are still level one. Can Guma and Karia try and snipe some minions to get level two? Trying as quickly as they can to lock down some of these two level two now going in. Kanavi, good damage down on Guma. Ruler flashing out of safety, ticking and burning, but he oh, will stay standing. Missing! Gets taken down! Karia! A godly play to hold on to the bottom side! At the same time, though, Guma, the one that. Bottom lane. A level six Karia, courtesy of the early play, has the uh -huh. XP advantage. Missing, trailing behind, but isn't going to do a lot. Ruler, however, looking for the all in the 1v1. Kumuji, nice flash to get away from the piercing arrow and the three stacks. In the meantime, fight on the top side. 369 and Knight comboing together, catching out Baker. Kanavi getting one, and spin goes the monkey. The Cyclone coming through just in time to keep the fight going, but Zeus is not down yet. Zeus looking to fire back. JDG could be in trouble, missing out firing forward. He's got level six, but does he have the man of the Herald does drop in the end? Knight still standing. The flip back is clean. It's but it's missing. He gets the kill, he gets the red buff carry, now running for his life, flash out from right to safety, still standing, ticking down, backing, hostile take will not connect, handshake will not connect, it's an absolute mess of a fight on the top side. But in the end, it is T1 that pick up the Herald. Alive for a little bit longer, otherwise that could have gone way worse, but it is still JDG that pick up the lead right now, Seus doesn't have flash available, and Kanavi gonna be looking for a dive Five, here, no reinforcement for four. T1. Ulti up and available for the Wukong. Waiting, buying his time. Extra healing coming in, but Zeus is gonna get a chance to use it, holding on for now, but immediately 369, finding the kill. JDG, a successful dive on top. All right, on his way. I really feel like Wukong has been the most underrated pick at World so far. T1 are gonna go for the dive. Kanabi's gonna try and answer. TP now coming in, 369 staying alive for now. No dominance, the Gordrinker healing now coming in, but Zeus goes in just in time. Hostile takeover will not connect on the real Kanavi. They're still focusing on Zeus. The bailout will not be enough, and they'll take a kill Kanavi, not quite! Shattering Strike, a bit more damage going through, but at the end of the day, it's a fizzle. They get the kill on the top side, one for one, top laner for top laner, but it's missing and with an average gold deficit at 15 minutes of the game. They were not a powerhouse landing team, but today the story is starting to change. If we can see T1, Going for the play here is missing, throws out the arrow, and we can see how this unfolds. And it is actually the arrow that ends up being big, because Zayas otherwise can just get out there, might be able to survive, and then T1 can take a big win, then use their fret and try and play for a hero play afterwards, but instead, they're not able to. JDG now, again, moving in, fighting slowly, diligently, eyes on carry, eyes on the hostile takeover to maybe be the difference maker in this fight. Zeus on the flank, Faker over the wall. Objective getting lower and lower. The Weaver's wall coming out, isolating owner. Might go for the 50-50, but it's absolutely cycle flashes over the arrow. Faker oh! goes in! It's incredibly clean! JDG with the counter punch. Can they get anything back? Ruler on touch on the backside. Dragon still standing, but owner will take that away too. My god, what an engage from T1! Owner! You and oh. 
Zayas. Zayas. Going in on a ruler. It's ruler really caught blocks. shopping. Oh, no. And he gets the dust blade. It's too damn clean. Kanavi trying to get something back, but it might be too little. Too late. The flick back coming in. T1C, their window of opportunity. Berserk both ADs just hitting each other. Knight now running. T1 taking the exchange. They can turn right towards Baron. Kanavi has no health. That's the ruler spot. That man has been caught there so many times. And now T1 trying to start up the Baron. We'll see if they can take it. Kanavi, he's healing up. No trying clash. his best. He tried to clone over the wall. The Weaver's wall through the midst of everything. The vision. T1 focused on the objective. They have the Ren Smite combo. There is no reason they should give this up, but Kanavi might might just be able to take it. They're now trying to burst it down. The push over the wall doesn't connect, but it does not matter. T1 get the objective. Kanavi into the pen, and he will get taken down. 369 forced to run for the hills, and T1 have turned the game on its head. 369 for his life, but Zeus is here. Look for the slice. Try to double dash through one. Not able to get the second, the Q3, the Dark and Blade cutting down. But now Ruler, maybe he can get more in the fight. Ruler not running down Zayas. Owner now running. Ruler trying to make up for the previous mistake. JDT looking to take the fight. Owner overstaying, over commitment. Baker hit by the arrow. The fight doesn't stop. T1 hold on to the bear. Missing's ult up and available. The Ash can find an angle, it can all fall apart. Zayas. Not out a bit here, forced to retreat. Dragon, objective, getting lower. Weaver's wall, bringing Knight into the fight. The entire team split. Arrow, Arrow going wide. That's massive. 369 going to pit, trying to isolate and take out the jungler. T1 now need to turn. It's the hostile takeover, connecting. Who can get the objective? And the steal coming through in time for Kanavi, but the fight is not done. Missing on the backside. Vulnerable on his lonesome, but JDG pulling back slowly. Surely they have no jungler, but they have the objective. T1 desperate to get more. They know they need to get something here. Pushing in. 369 over the wall. Knight continuing to poke. It's diligent. It is controlled. 369 now going in, forcing out the ultimate. Missing has been caught out. Missing will go down. The Flash buying a bit more time, buying a bit more space. But he will get killed. It is only a matter of time. Zeus finishing up the fight. A sitting duck for an Azir shuffle. Absolutely is. Oh. Maybe now caught out again, just as you call it, Chronicler. But Kanavi in the meantime just trying to isolate Zeus. He needs to be careful though because the rest of T1 is now coming in, missing running for the hills, but he surely will go down. Faker grabbing the kill. 369 being forced out of the pit. Locked up. Cloud Rift. Taking him out to safety. T1 finding the kill on a missing, but not a lot. There, Zeus walking up to the mid lane as well. The poke from Ruler can be devastating. T1 can't spend too long trading blows in the mid lane against this Varus. Or too long setting up and taking objectives. Topside control, topside vision control in favor of T1. A bit of vision in the pit means JDG don't have to be too scared, but they might be pitching for the angle. Arrow going onto the jungler. Flick back is there. Looking to burst owner. Looking to taste him out of the equation. The pullback is there for Guma. He will keep carry alive. Fate's call. But is the fate in soul? They've got Kalista. Looks They're gonna like try it. and rend it. Guma Yushi is gonna try and rend this dragon. They're gonna try and get Cloud Soul in exchange for the Baron buff. And the immediate win gonna be there for JDG. We know how deadly this team is when they get their hands on a Baron. T1 starts off with JDG. They should be able to get this easily. A similar story for 369 on the bottom side. T1 just need to weather the storm. And the heal is good in lane, but once you get out, it is very tough not to have the cleanse. Stay on the flank, stay on the side. TP coming in, Faker looking to make the play oh. against Ruler! Owner goes in! And again, the combos are clean! The hostile takeover is damn well hostile! T1 looking to leave no survivors alive. 369 defense the entire team will get absolutely nothing! T1 what? in the clutch are too damn clean! Faker predict! You think that JDG are in total control? It wasn't even about the Cloud Soul, it was a single moment from T1 that gave them this game, that set them up for a match point. Missing, he won't be enough. T1 gonna break the base, T1 gonna move on to match point. A clean fight out of nowhere secures them their second game. All of the games. It seems a little iffy here. They do need to scale into this game, whereas T1 have a lot of playmaking options here. Aggressive lanes locked in, both in bottom lane and in top lane, and owner got... It will be exclusively between four versus four. Owner going in, decent bit of poke damage. Just the EQ as well as the Iron Spike Whip. No level six again. Two minus six. 
Carry a flash to the wall, locking up Knight. It's a clean play. Flash drag, flash forward. Committing on a Knight. The shockwave now coming in. Finger turning it right back. First blood. Everybody getting out. That's a one hell of a magical journey. They'll get the kill back on the owner, but now they're in enemy territory. Cosmic Binding is good, but here comes Kanavi. Locked up, nowhere for Faker to go. And JDG fire back, but Zeus on the top side going all in. And Still. Ruler is rich. Both of those. I like the call from JDG, you know, the, the full rotation up to the top side of the map, trying to play off of those two kills that they got so they can rush down Rift Herald for the Belveth, use those Belveth Void Links for pushing along with the pop, and continue to snowball him. Well, that's a best case scenario for JDG, and they're looking for more. There's no ulti, very vulnerable if they do want to commit for the all-in, but owner and carrier in the area. Right here beside him, level six. Around the corner for Carrier, but still needs a bit more. Faker over the wall, though, has been locked up by the Infernal. Chains above and below, coming up for the Belveth. Faker in trouble, not going to be able to get out of this one. The kill coming through for Kanavi. Yeah, that's JDG territory. Faker walks right in, and they welcome him with open arms. Kill. Lenora will start up the Drake. Focus on the Dragons has paid dividends for T1 in the, in the entire bracket stage, excuse me. And that is actually courtesy of Zeus, right? If Ruler and Missing are able to get their back in early, I think Ruler gets back, picks up his uh, Storm Razor, and then T1 might not be able to get the Dragon. We'll be getting that, though. Still think JDG is going to be very happy with how this... Pressure down for T1. The Vision. But here it comes. Rift Herald's been started. T1 are here. Teleports are ready for both Faker and Knight. TP coming into the mid lane from Knight. TP coming into the pit from Faker. Unleashed just in time. Ruler slowed down just a bit. Objective getting lower and lower. Who's going to take it? Kanavi is going to grab it. Ulti coming out with the shockwave on the backside to lock up Gumiyushi. Owner goes in, but he's not able to get much done. Kanavi dipping and diving. Zeus finally going to catch the jungler, but Ruler for now is still completely he's alive. untouched. Kanavi is living. The lightning crash comes out, and it is time for T1 to get the hell out of Dodge. Zeus has burned all of his resources, but continuing to step up. Will walk away, but JDG again, they get the Herald. They can just ult the towers to immune them and immune the charge and nullify most of the effect. Yep, five seconds till that ult is available for Karia. Bar Assault already available. Oh. Kanavi going through the portal! Oh. He didn't mean to click that! Oh, that's gonna cost him! Still standing for now! Will live! That's a magical journey indeed! I <laughs> yeah, but not the good kind of supplies. Navi starting to heal up, has the red buff yeah, ticking. Contest. But there's no room for JDG to contest this one. The Herald gonna be immediately dropped mid. Karius still has the ulti to deny the charge, but JDG barreling in. A lot of members here might be able to break the tower anyway. Still, they're gonna break it. 369 caught up. Oh! Gumiyushi can he go in for the counter engage? The flash out. Karius flashing forward, will not connect on the stun. Faker on the flank. Herald still there. Void Ramora is still there. Zayas finds the knock-up. He finds two, but there's no follow-up. He gets out the Lulu wall. Kanavi now stepping in. Knight there. Shockwave oh! comes back. The counterpunch from JDG is too damn much, but T1 are still standing. T1 are still firing back. It's a one for one. Oh, these fights are just on the end. Continue to walk up on the top side. And now Carrier caught out. No magical journey available. Oh! Ruler walks in. Just gets a freebie. Knight serves up Ruler, some extra gold. On Just walking in, looking to take tier two. Boom is here, but what is he gonna get done? Now trying to lock them up, has flashed out to safety. Owner buying a bit more space for Guma, but they're being forced to retreat. TPR to use, Zayas waiting over the wall, trying to find the jungler. It feels personal how many times this man has managed to survive, but the fate is sealed of Kanavi. T1 managed to punish in the mid lane. Karia traded for Kanavi in the grand scheme of things. To do, they do have a... Um... They have a Yone and a Varus. They have a Yone yes. and a Varus. They eat this objective alive. Rage Blade's done. Look JDG have speed. zero vision. They have zero way into the pit. They have zero tools to get on top of them quickly. T1 are determined to take the objective. It's getting lower and lower. There's a portal in the back of the pit. It's a goddamn good heist. T1 get in. They get the Baron. And they get the hell out. And we hadn't seen a lot of these, but the T1 Baron is back, baby. Line up. But JDG know they have priority access to the pit. Zeus waiting over the wall. Again, it is all eyes on Ruler. He has to be the difference maker here. A good shockwave. The Zeri follow-up could be enough for JDG to take the fight, but for now they're focused on the objective. Owner zoning them away. 2.5k. It's getting lower and lower. They will burn it down. They get what they came for. T1, do they want to stay for the fight? Knockup coming through. Owner caught up. Flag and Drag will take him out to safety. Kanavi burning on the back side. Owner still standing. With Ruler with the lightning crash now trying to go in. But goes gold and carry by spin more space for the rest of the team. Arrows coming in from the bars. Ruler incredibly low, but maybe. There's just maybe guy. he can turn it back. But Gooba's still standing tall. Oh! He can't walk in a range. T1 starting to feel like an inevitability. Ruler Zeri. JDG in circles in these team fights. What? Taves flashing forward. Just 
trying to deny, just trying to zone them away. Blood in their eyes. They want everything. They'll break the tier. we are dropping there. You have to look at both sides of this team fight. It sections off into so many different sick plays. First of all, though, is the dragon. Guma Yushi combo arrow with owner to be able to secure it. Guma <laughs> at Worlds has been able to steal objectives and he's able to secure them with his team. Faker goes in for the ultimate, which gets Knight's uh, stasis here, and then Knight has to flash Zeus's ultimate that was over the top. Zeus just continues back up to the top side of the team, right where Owner oh, lives. The lineup is perfect there. They've locked up Ruler. That's all that they need. Zeus now stepping in. Zeus desperate to get the Q3, but he cannot find the angle. Ruler now retreating. T1, will they go for more? Flash in from Owner. Cannot be now in trouble. Wild Wolf coming out. T1 find the angle. Barreling down the top side with the Baron. Ready to break the backs of JDG. The magical journey for T1 coming through. And perhaps the golden road coming to an end. And it was carry out. It actually was able to hit his ultimate on Ruru in the final. Gonna be oh. off the back of a miraculous Zeri team fight. Knight Ruler, locked up. Knight is locked. The crown will not stop that. And he's only a knight. Faker knocking him down. Unstoppable. Carry a bard. He's got the hand of Midas. Everyone he touches turns to gold. In the Zayas can start this one, draw the attention of JDG. They're forced to respond. They can't afford to give up the soul. Guma clearing the mid wave. T1 a bit split. Eyes on Ruler. Eyes on the shockwave of Knight. Kanavi stepping in. Flash to the side from Faker. Ooh. At the cost of very little. Owner walking more, but Faker now dominating. Kanavi! A massive mistake! Carrion now going in, the ruler's untouched! Goes golden and now Ruler! Looking to take over the fight, Ruler still standing, but Goomba still standing, Goomba firing back! Ruler goes down! Goomba's just better! Seu's now stepping in, fate sealed. Or rather, Soul Unbound now taking it back, the Ocean Soul for T1, they get everything they want. Death Cup for Faker, the damage! Unexpected! They're gonna get Soul, they're gonna get Baron! Run from it! Dread it! T1 are inevitable! Faker will come for the final spot! T1 will get the Baron! They will get the split push! They've got JDG on the ropes! Focus on the bottom side, but this inhibitor will be a continuous weak point. 369 finding the lockup. Zaya snapping back on the soul unbound. We'll just break the inhibitor. He knows what he's here for. It is slow, it is controlled, it is diligence. The hype moment over for a moment as Kanavi weaves in and out of the exchange, looking for a bit of redemption for himself. T1. Explosive fight after explosive fight has put them in a position to close this out cleanly, clinically. Death by a thousand cuts for JDG. T1, the onslaught will not stop. Third inhibitor goes down. T1 pushing in. They're not done. They've got the Baron still. 36 seconds. 5k Red Bull Baron power play backing them up. Zayas finding an initial knockup, just a bit of poke. A single misstep from JDG and T1 can instantly fully commit to the fight. It's the shockwave. Kanavi getting lower and lower, falling apart under the pressure. JDG's hope dwindling. They've taken down PLG. They've taken down LNG. It is not LPL versus LCK. It is T1 versus the LPL. And they like those odds as they move to finals. These were some of the best highlights from the world's 2023 semifinals matchup between JDG and T1. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.